This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, December 19th, 2014. So the euro remains locked within its well-defined downtrend after recently stalling out yet again by the 50-day moving average and breaking lower to now threaten a break below the recent 2014 low at 123.48. A break below would then expose the 2012 base at 124.40 further down. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to consolidate just off its recent 2014 low at 155.41. The pressure remains on the downside, and only a break back above 158.26 would compromise the current outlook. Below 155.41 would open the door for the next measure move downside extension towards the 152.50 area. Dollar Yen. Dollar Yen has recently ended a bit of a correction at 115.50 and has broken back above the 50 at the 10-day moving average to suggest a higher low is now in place just around 15.50 in favor of the next upside extension back through the recent 7-year high at 121.85. Only back below 115.50 would take the immediate pressure off the top side. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss has recently rallied out from fresh yearly lows just below 120.10 and shy of the 120 barrier, with the market breaking back above 120.45 to surge up towards 121 on Thursday. However, a close above 120.45 will be required, that previous base from September will be required to take the immediate pressure off the downside and really shift the focus to the top side. Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar remains under pressure, with the market now focused on a test of the next key psychological barrier below at 80. Daily studies are, however, tracking an oversold territory, so it wouldn't be surprising to see a bit of a bounce before the market heads lower. Ultimately, any rally should be very well capped ahead of 85.41, the previous 2014 low. Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD remains locked within a very well defined uptrend and is focused on a test of a measure move objective at 1750 over the coming sessions. Any setback should be very well supported into the previous 2014 high, which now acts as support at 1467, while only below 113 would compromise the bullish outlook. Kiwi Dollar. Kiwi has been locked mostly in a consolidation over the past several weeks, with the market trading between 76.09, 76.10, and 80.35. But given the move that had preceded this and, and given the broader downtrend, deeper setbacks are favored below 76.09 and towards a measured move objective at 72.85 further down. Look for the 20-day moving average to continue to cap gains, while ultimately only back above 80.35 would compromise the bearish outlook. SP5, XPX 500. The S&P 500 has rallied all the way back this week to fresh 2014, or to match the, the record highs that we had seen uh, back on the 5th of December at 2080. Uh, the market has rallied on Friday thus far to trade just by 12080 ahead of the latest minor pullback. But overall, the structure remains highly constructive with, fre with a fresh upside seen beyond 2080 potentially now and towards cri next critical psychological barriers at 2100 further up. Ultimately, only back below the recent support that we'd seen by the Ichimoku cloud base at 1968 would compromise the bullish outlook. Gold. Gold is in the process of recovering slowly out from the recent 2014 and multi-year low at 1131 with the market putting in a series of higher lows and higher highs. A fresh higher low is now sought out somewhere in the 1180 area ahead of the next major upside extension towards 1256. 1256 is a critical medium term resistance point and a break back above would be required to force a shift in the more medium term structure which still favors the downside. That's all for today.